mm -hmm. to clo to close it out like that. It's uh it's worth it definitely. Um, I'm glad that you know all the hard work and you know my through my parents coming out to watch me and all my relatives coming out to show support. I'm glad that I could uh you know put something out there for them. Have you had a lot of opportunities to work with Karen during training camp or preseason? Mm -hmm. or yeah, yeah. Uh, ever since he showed up, I've kind of he I knew I've always kind of known he he'll be on my rotation. You know. And uh, it's kind of our, the player's responsibility to, to have the rotation ready when it's, when it's time to go. So as soon as he got here, you know, he's done a good job at studying his playbook, making sure his guys are ready, we know what to do, and uh, just going to execute and doing what we got to do when we're in the practice or the game. He gets, I mean, it's a 69-yard throw, but most of it is yak. What do they tell you when, when they meet you in the end zone after an effort like that? It's a good play. Um, you know, it's, the thing about football is, from start to finish, like I can't, I can't get my route off. He can't deliver the rock without, you know, the front five, and I'm sure everybody knows that. But you know, it's a full 11-man effort. You know, I'm sure you could look at the film; it'll be a couple of dudes blocking downfield for me, for those guys coming out the stack. You know what I mean? It's 11 guys on the field, and it was an 11-man effort. And uh, you know, I appreciate that, and they recognize that too. So preseason training camp's over. How do you feel? You know, from July to now, how do you most feel about your whole body of work? Um, it's been a lot of work. Uh, like you said, we, you know, what you, what we've seen here is just from July. But even since our bowl game back in you know December, it's been just training, getting ready for this long interview process, running 40s and stuff. You know, ever since, uh, you know, basically January, it's just been a lot of work. Um, you know, I'm proud of myself. Uh, I feel like I've showed myself a lot. You know, what I'm about and stuff. And um, you know, I'm just taking it a day at a time. Just continue to put one foot in front of the other and, and show up with a, you know a positive attitude. Um, just, just, just keep everything as is. Um, you know, I've had a routine that's got me, that's got me, you know, very far up until now. Um, even before I got here with the Cowboys, I've had a routine. I've had like kind of a way to carry myself, such that it'll take me through those hard times. It'll take me through those, you know, positive times, through indecision and stuff. And you know, why abandon that now? You know what I mean? Um, just kind of, kind of stay, continue to do myself, and uh, just wait for any news that may come. Mm -hmm. the longest, job longest job interview process. Somebody mentioned that to me earlier during this process, and now I'm starting to really find out it's literally, you know, nobody, there's not a job interview process longer than this one. But, you know, it's totally worth it. It's a dream come true. Coming out of Allen, I'm positive. I know you've played here before, mm -hmm. but just when was the last time, and how does that stack up to some of your other moments here? Yeah, last time we played, I'm pretty sure it was our state championship game in here. Um, it's unbelievable. I know this is obviously this is obviously a preseason game. I know Cowboys Nation comes strong during the regular season, but um, Allen Allen in our state championship runs and stuff. We they they showed a lot of love when we played here at this stadium. It was unbelievable, and you know that's kind of my last memories. But uh, to another point, kind of on that end, I've told my dad earlier this uh, this month that this is the first Cowboys game I've ever been to in this stadium, and I was able to play in it. So that's very special to me. I'll never forget that. Thanks, Jim. Good luck, man. Thank you, Dad.